So the big question today is, should your partner be everything to you? Today, I'll be diving into a question that maybe it's crossed your mind. Well, especially in today's world where every relationship is so picture perfect. My name is Jonah Wosu and welcome to the Second Chances podcast, a love journey in black and white. Yesterday, David and I were talking about the people, the friends, the relationships that we have in our lives and the different roles that each person plays and just kind of taking stock of, oh yeah, if I wanted to talk about real estate, this is what I'd call. If I want to talk about uh, cryptocurrency, this is what I'd call. If I have weight loss issues, this is what I'd call. And it was just very refreshing to see that even though, yes, we're there for each other, we also have a support system outside of each other that allows us to express ourselves and be all that we can be without putting that pressure on each other. And that really got me to thinking because let's be honest, we, 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 we hear this in a lot of songs, we see it in movies, we read it in books where your partner is your all in all, <laughs> you know, where you have this perfect relationship where this person provides everything that you can probably desire and need. And that way it's, you're not looking for anything else outside of the partner, right? You're my everything. So romantic, isn't it? And I also also believe that for a long time, but today I want to unpack this a little bit. So historically, especially in the times of maybe our parents or our grandparents, they viewed relationships quite differently, especially marriages partnerships at that level or at that time was more for survival, more for support and more for raising a family. Today, it's all about this romance. You want your partners to be not just your lovers, but your best friends, your business partner, your gym buddy, your therapist and everything else in between. But how practical is that? I've tried it and all it led to was a lot of resentment And they really, really didn't work. So there's a huge risk with wanting this everything in a partner dependency. You can become easily emotionally burnt out because there's a lot of strain on you to be all of this to a person or expecting this person to be all of this to you. And I think that's a little, little bit unfair. What would you say? And again, I think this is to the point where people start to lose themselves. They start to lose their self-identity because now you're consumed by this relationship. Because again, everything, you're everything to the person and the person is everything to you. So you have this huge weight on your shoulders to make sure that you're able to fulfill that or keep expecting the person to be everything. I don't know about you, but I definitely want to, don't want to play that role in anybody's life. It, it sounds sounds exhausting <laughs> and I'm, I'm just more for the easy free-flowing type of relationships so burnout is something that i think is very very real and it could really show up in relationships and really maybe even end it to relationships i'm more of a individual person with your own individual space i love space because not only does it give you the time to reflect and do things that you want to do sometimes by yourself but it's also where personal growth and personal development takes place. And we all know that if you improve other areas in your life, then of course it's going to reflect on your relationship because now you show up as a better person, as an evolved person. You're growing. So obviously your relationship is going to benefit from that. I think like like for David and I, we do share a few things in common, maybe where we like the outdoors, we like to try different activities, we like to go to the gym, we like to go swimming. Yes, there are a couple of things that we do together, but... I think by me and him being able to maintain other hobbies outside of each other is great for the relationship because now we can go have experiences, build our passions, our hobbies and friendships outside of the relationship and bring that back into our relationship. It helps to make our experience of being together much richer because different perspectives. Like if I wanted to talk fashion, yeah, Davide dresses well for a man, but he doesn't really know how you know, to make me look fantabulous. So I'm going to go call the people that I know are great at that things. And he can be like, oh, wow, you know, this person chose this for you. It's just a richer experience for me, at least. So I'm more of a uh, individual person with your own individual space. And then when it's time to come together, 
both of you have more things to bring to the table to make it more exciting. I also think it's crucial to have a support system because sometimes your partner is the problem. <laughs> you are going through hell with them and you need to be able to talk to somebody else outside of them. It's really, really key. As much as you love your partner, there are just some things and there's some moments sometimes that they're just not the best, best person you want to talk to. They probably haven't known you the longest. they are probably parts of your life that they're not aware of, again, because they're so emotionally involved with you. So at those times, maybe a cousin, a family member, a sister, a parent, a friend, a best friend, or even a mentor might be more equipped to understand and give you a better unemotional, more objective advice. So I think psychologically and emotional, emotionally, having a well-rounded support system outside of your partner is very, very key for you as an individual. But I know some people might be arguing, so what's the point? If this person cannot be my everything, my all in all, then what is the point? Well, I think to each their own, I'm going to say that to each their own. Maybe there's some people that are successful in the relationship, just being about two of them and nobody else. Good for you. Um, but if it's not working for you, then maybe if you realize that you're someone who needs your own space or you're somebody who has these expectations of a partner, Maybe just have that conversation. Make sure that communication lines of communication are open so that the person knows what they're getting into and that you also can decipher if this is something that you're willing to give to somebody, right? Because I don't want somebody expecting me to be there all in all and I had no clue. Now I'm in it. And when I say I want to go out with my friends, they're like, and leave me here or they start sulking. Do you ever have that feeling when you go out? Maybe spend a few, I know it happened to me last night, I went to the movies and that movie was three hours long and Davide was calling me and when I got home, I could see the look on his face like, where have you been? But it wasn't a case of, I don't like you going out. It was more uh, movies for three and a half hours. I was just concerned. But I don't want to have that feeling where now I, I want to go hang out with my friends, but also I don't want to come back home and my partner is feeling lost, feeling like you left me all alone, making me feel guilty for having a life outside of them. So communication is very, very key. Make sure that you address some of these points before you get neck deep into a relationship on what expectations are, this all in all mindset, you are my everything. And be sure that it's something that you're willing to do because I don't start what I cannot finish. And so I'd rather not even start that at all. We're all complicated, we're all complex. And the truth is you should be complete on your own but I know, I get it. We all want that partner where we can do life with, but it doesn't mean you have to do all of life with the person. You can still save some parts of your life for yourself, for your own individual desires and needs and allow, give your partner the space to also do the things that they enjoy and have other relationships in their own lives. And all in all, that will bring you guys closer together because now your relationship has more perspectives. It's richer and it's just better. It's just better in general. But those are my thoughts. <laughs> so let me hear from you. Do you have other relationships outside of your significant relationship? Or are you the Mills and Boone love songs, romantic mindset of my partner has to be my all in all, my everything. I don't need anybody else but you. Let me know in the comments. For me, I love Davide. He's, he's probably the most important thing to me right now in my life. Uh, but I do have other friendships outside of him and we, we each respect that and he does too. Well, thank you for listening to today's episode on the Second Chances podcast, a love journey in black and white. I will see you same time tomorrow. Until next time, sending you love and light.